The Agriculture Department's approval earlier this year of genetically modified alfalfa, the fourth biggest U.S. crop by acreage, has brought a flurry of lawsuits by organic farmers who feed alfalfa to their dairy cows. Seth Doan tells us why they fear for their livelihoods. Come on, babe. Come on. Searching for greener pastures, dairy farmer Tony Azevedo switched from conventional farming 15 years ago to an all-organic dairy. His certified organic milk turns him a higher profit, but he also has to meet much higher standards, too. Today, Azevedo's big worry is keeping alfalfa hay, the best feed for producing milk, from being contaminated by nearby genetically modified or GMO crops. If alfalfa seed gets contaminated, we're out of business. The contamination happens when these seeds drift from one farmer's land onto another's. If my neighbor decides to plant GMO crops or Roundup Ready alfalfa, and he has a right to, I can't tell him how to run his life. What's gonna keep that contamination from my farm? The problem? The USDA recently approved the unregulated release of Monsanto's genetically modified alfalfa, which is engineered to be resistant to the company's herbicide Roundup, a chemical that kills weeds. We can't survive with, with this kind of a ruling out. It's just, it's, it, it's just not right. Azevedo and his neighbor Ward Burroughs say that could put them out of business. If GMOs are discovered in the feed, prices could go up and they could lose important organic buyers like Whole Foods. What they've done is completely disregard the organic uh, industry. It's a dispute that has already resulted in huge court battles between conventional farmers and biotech companies. In the last 10 years, farmers have sued for over a billion dollars in losses after rice crops meant for export were contaminated. So far, $200 million have been awarded, and 6,000 farmers await their day in court. But the U.S. Department of Agriculture believes that genetic engineering, or GE, is critical to help farmers be more productive and guard against food shortages. I think there is a growing recognition around the world um, that that there's going to be GE crops. Tom Vilsack is the Secretary of Agriculture. There's the perception out there that USDA is siding with the big biotech companies as opposed to the, as opposed to the organic dairy farmers, the little guy. Well, I think if you understand and appreciate what we've done in, in organic, it's a hard a case to make because at the end of the day, I think we need both. Vilsack says more research is being conducted. But meanwhile, the seeds are being planted. You're not going to know that you have it until it's too late, until they, they test the animals, they test the milk, and it's now in the food chain, and then it's too late. And organic farmers can do nothing but watch and wait. Seth Doan, CBS News, Washington.